What's everybody? It's Jason here from Film from the Air Productions. Thank you all so much for coming to the channel today. So today, we are doing another Hell of a Boss reaction video today. But this one is actually the season finale from season one that I was I alluded to um, months, almost a year ago, I think it was, when we got when we got Ozzy's season one, episode seven, and the eighth and the eighth one, the final one of the season was delayed um, due to some copyright and some other reasons too. But it finally just dropped this weekend, and I am so excited for it because we're already almost halfway through season two already, and um, we're already in. A plus, we're getting a new episode um, this year as well because last year was we only had a handful of episodes last year, but we're getting so many good new episodes, which I'm really am happy about. Um, in this year, in 2023, from Viv Z Pop with Hell Boss. But yeah, season one, episode eight, the season finale of Hell of Boss. And this one is, we got a little tidbit from it, um, for a few times over the past year since they alluded to it. But um, I've just seen a lot of cool photos, a lot of cool screenshots and social media to it. But um, I want to get right into it today because we've been waiting so long for this. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video today. You want me to drop you off here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this looks right. I, uh, haven't been here before. Vortex. Tex. Yeah. Hey. Damn, awesome to see him. Thanks for inviting me. Of course, of course. Hey, everyone. Meet the new face. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want a drink or anything? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, totally. And so I tell you, I'm not gonna go get up unless you're fucking proud at this time. That is so not that. Not that. Yeah, like that happens all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. OMJ, Luna, Lunatic Luna, that you? Uh, yeah, it's Luna. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe you're showing up to another party. I mean, do you even remember the last one? I'm sure you'll remind me. Yeah, this? This year, right? <sighs> Why do you still have that? It brings me joy. You know, you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy. <laughs> wow, you're being really negative. Your aura is really aggressive right now. Oh yeah? Well, maybe it's because I'm in the presence of a massive bitch. Oh. Uh, my dog. Oh. Wow. What? Is that not an okay thing to say? Like, come on, it's true. Did I miss anything? No, no, no. <laughs> no, nothing. <clears throat> no. <laughs> How are my dirty bitches doing tonight? <laughs> Y'all ready to party with the queen bee of gluttony. Come on. Queen bee? Is this queen bee? Hell yeah, because the honey is flowing tonight, and this bitch about to get fucking wild. Let's get it started. Some beautiful shots, I like those. Cotton candy, cotton candy. I'm what you want, not what you need. Hey, I don't know why. I'm what you want, but it's the truth. I'm not your lie. Let them eat cake, let them eat pie. Or better yet, let oh, Kesha. <laughs> Wow. Sweet as 
Whoa. Oh, yeah. Too hard with the confetti this time, though. I have like a rainbow in my vagina right now. <laughs> oh, hey, is this the sweet pup you told me about? Excuse me? She's a fucking cutie. Where you been hiding, girl? <laughs> is there something funny? <laughs> nah, I'm just really high on all this tasty energy right now. Tech says you don't get invited out much. I hope this itty bitty get together can serve as a fun first time. Mm -hmm. I would have thrown a bigger one, but I couldn't convince Belfagor to let me break into her stash of party drugs. So fucking lame. I mean, I usually just steal them, but Belle changed the locks. She says I'm a total jackass for trying, but hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. <laughs> anyway, yeah, B, this is Luna. Luna, this is my girlfriend, B. Nice to meet you, bitch. Oh, this is... She's hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Tex, you didn't tell me she was hilarious. That's funny. That's so funny. Right. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off, and that's fucking beautiful. You are my new favorite person. Oh. Am I, though? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> no, really. Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, oof, boy, you are hot as hell. Then I wanted to die, because it was so awkward. Because he's more like a brother to me, you know, but not actually my brother. So I guess it was fine. I could hit that. Anyway, girl, you have a good time tonight. Get some sweets, get some eats, drink it, tear it, fuck it up. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, honey. Thank you for coming. Do you need anything? Are you having fun? Are you good? Are you drunk? Okay, good. Okay, great. Are you good? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? What? You just got here. At least one drink, right? Nope, you really wouldn't like me after one drink. No. Oh, Seth! I want a drink! Give me a shot! How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to go. Hey, that sounds like Blitzo! The O is silent, asshole! <laughs> hey, I knew it was you! Fuck, man, where you been? You, you here for the party? No, no, I'm just here picking up my daughter. Oh, shit, you have a daughter now? Adopted! Oh, man, you're already leaving? Things just got started. Come in and show us all up again. No, no, thank you, but I think Looney <laughs> wants to head back. Oh, howdy, next to you wants to leave? Watch it. I mean, we could stay a little longer. <laughs> I think we need to go. Okay, I think it's been a long night. Well, these people seem to know you. Come on. 
I think I want to give this another try. Please. Okay, fine. Maybe one drink. Blitz, 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 blitz. Ah, I've been wondering where that trend show is going to lead to in this past year. <laughs> Challenge for you. Oh, he's gonna die. Alright, let's do this. From B's personal supply, the hardest shit there is. You ready, my man? Oh, born ready! Bring it, Barky! I will drink you under this fucking table. You have no idea what kind of night I've had. <laughs> But there hasn't been a soul yet who can beat me at my own game. So you better bring the fire, baby. Oh, is Queen B too scared to lose to a little imp like me? Oh, okay. Let's get it on, you little bastard. Come on, Blitz! Fuck her up! You can do it! I haven't had a first in a while. That was magical. Seriously, impressive. I tip my crown to you, imp boy. <laughs> Respect. Ow, ow. Oh. Oh. Hey, Lou, I don't mean to be a buzzkill here, but your, uh, dad, guy dude, is, um, he's seeming a bit... Out of control. Like, a mess. Yeah, it's worrisome. You wanna maybe check on him or something? What? No! No, Blitz is fine. He's always a mess. Trust me. Look, honey, I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time, but he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose, so I feel like... You should check up on him at least. Just see if something's up. Don't act like you know him like I do. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had like four tongues inside him at once. <laughs> I mean, good for him. But I can taste the flavor of people at my parties and he's giving off a very not okay vibe, you know? Oh yeah, and I bet you'd know the okay vibe, right? I mean, everyone likes you so much. What's that supposed to mean? Is that a problem? Sorry. Don't follow me. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. Nope. I'll uh, I'll check on it. Ah. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I know. I got a little spicy there. I just mm -hmm. hope everything works out. Now let's dance. Let's. Let's. Where are you, shithead? Let's. Oh, here's Blitz? This guy. It looks like you're in the middle of a goddamn orgy. Stop! Look, I didn't expect you to come in here and see any of this loony. I'm so sorry, but it's a party. I'm just Definitely having one of the wire or episodes. God. The fuck is your name again? Dennis. Rice on a stick, you would be a Dennis. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not fucking a Dennis tonight. I need a Monica or Alejandro in here. Stat. Better. <laughs> You don't need anyone else sucking your face, freaky weirdo. You need to drink something other than Beezle juice. Uh, no. Bye-bye. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. I had a really shitty day. Oh yeah? Is that why you drank like five gallons worth of who knows what? Fuck, Fizz was right. Aww. I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Just a wrinkly, old, weathered waste. Will you be there, Looney? Be where? I don't know, it's lonely. I don't wanna die alone. Cause this had to write right after Ozzy's, this episode. 
Now go the fuck to sleep, okay? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I did need to throw up. <laughs> oh, let's go ahead and do oh. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. A lot to analyze there. A lot to analyze. And, um, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in a few moments. And we'll get my first thoughts. See you in a second. And we're back. So yeah, that was a pretty nice episode. I got, if I say my so myself, that was definitely worth uh, the year plus with the wait. And um, it looks like RP are loving it too. It's already got almost 7 million views in just a little over 48 hours since it premiered. So I'm definitely, that's uh, being well received right now. But I think, as I, everyone loved, is now in this in this episode that we got um, the singer Kesha Seabird. She was in this too. And she did just a phenomenal job as in Queen Bee. This thing might be, I think, her first... First, like voice acting roles, I think. Um, but yeah, she was phenomenal in this in this one too. I just loved her song too. I always love when you get these new new cool songs too. But we just go back to the scene where she was at. That's just the best. I think that's just the best part of it. Oh. And I just love how you can just take it. It's like for example, like when I love it when the Hella Boss they use um they use um singers or people who might not even be reading the voice acting and allow them to be involved in Hella Boss and they just make the this add another level to these episodes in quality. And this song Con Candy is definitely one that's pretty catchy if you wanna say if I say so myself. But yeah, I just love Kesha and this. She just 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 knocks out of the park. I mean And the colors too. The colors that they use in this entire episode too. It's just so nice. I can see there's so much going on this because she's going in and out and stoning the different areas of of this, this of the party because um she's obviously a, she's the queen bee of um of the gluttony ring of hell. So um it's just it's just so much going on in this in this song though. And I guess um I guess they had to wait obviously because get some, some clearances, I guess some copyright, wherever it was. But I guess that it ended up turning to the benefit and being worth the wait because it's just a fantastic sequence entirely. I would stop on a single frame, but there's so many frames that are just so well done. And they'll just look, they'll just look awesome. Just on, on, on just a quality that almost can't be matched. And um, it's reflecting it. But um, just beyond just the just the great sound and the great song Con Candy by by the one only Kesha, um, it's just it's a good episode all around too. This one obviously it's set after just right after the events of Ozzy's. Um, if you guys haven't seen that one, actually reaction to that one too. So check the check the card above right hand corner and enjoy my reaction to that one. And um, if you guys haven't seen that one, that one basically is where Blitz and Solas they basically go in there basically their first date kind of. But then Fizzaroli um, is at is at Odd Ozzy's place, and basically uh, Ozzy and Fizzaroli um, as as Asmodeus as well as even um, Rossica, they're all there, and they basically make him feel like he's worth like he's not worth it, like he's not worth um, being himself, being who he is. So he's actually at a very low point um, in the story of Hello Boss, and um, this is actually a continuation of it too. So in this basically one, as you see, Luna. Trying to be like obviously as we start from the beginning, as they're trying to do um trying to know more of their hover because because she's a hellhound trying to um obviously get more to um try and meet new people, meet new friends, and obviously try to get a um a boyfriend. But um yeah, I just and we also got to see um we also got to see um um vortex again, which we haven't seen since um spring broken many many episodes ago. So that was nice seeing him in this series again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, you do kind of see in the very first part of episode, she loves where she's at, and she's glad she's kind of basically she's you know she's getting new, learn meeting new friends, and um because she wasn't. 
And two and two puts adopt her. She was obviously at, at the um at the adoption care. She was or well, she had needed to be adopted by Blitz because she was in um we even know too much about her backstory how she ended up um I need to be adopted. But um, obviously it was alluded to in some of the past episodes and some of the ones um in season one and season two that she was in a very low place and but Blitz basically offered to become her father, so um yeah, it is nice seeing her in this too. But we also kinda of see kind of two of maybe sometimes where um where she has because sometimes she has very well, she has, sometimes she has very um um her her communication and her um basic some of her issues that she has in the past kind of affect relationships and or having allowing her to communicate with people. So we do kinda of see that too. Um we see obviously Ruck with some of the, the bougie I'll say the bougie hellhounds too. We see her kind of getting kind of aggressive but Dang, that that's a cool that, that, that that's a big moment too. Obviously, see, obviously, um, I thought when I first saw, I I I, I thought something was about to like, but I thought she was about to get a fight at the way I was going. But um, but Vortex came by, and um, Vortex came by and um, kind of stopped that from happening, which is good. Let the um, episode kind of progress and stuff too. But yeah, um, next part of the episode is obviously there's just a. Just the fan, the fantastic Kesha, the entire sequence of Kesha. I just, I just, I just can't get enough of it. I just, it's just so nice. And they, like every shot looks so nice, and just Kesha's hit all the park. Well, it was busy popping. All the animators, they just did, just a great job with this too. Um, also, kind of get that little exploration in different rings of hell too. This is the the gluttony ring of hell. So a little bit more of that war building they're trying to do in this episode too. And um, but beyond that, um, ooh, after that. Oh yeah, we we, 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 do, we do we do we do we do get to kind of see a little bit of um, her vulnerable side too, a little bit too, um, when she first you know she first talks to Queen Bee and um and her freaking line. <laughs> That's funny, but um, I just love like the, the the magma lava like going from in in, in in Queen Bee's hair. Oh, that looks so nice, so nice. I mean, Kesha, she's doing a pretty good job for this thing. I believe this is her first voice acting acting um role, so she's doing a pretty good job in this episode. Um, and yeah, then oh, we also see obviously she texts she texts Blitz. This is right after um in like chronology wise, this is right after the final shot in um Aussies where you see him crying because looking through those pictures and he misses his relationship with the yeah, with with you know Fizzaroli, with Verostica, and even a tidbit we got of, of Blitz's mom. So that's gonna be something we're gonna hopefully get in the next few episodes is Lamora's backstory about what happened to his mother and you know because obviously it's obvious she's no longer with us um, with Blitz. So it's I, I'm I'm curious to see, but this is obviously just taken back from where we right from where we started from. <laughs> he was he was halfway through a car ice cream like that. That's funny. Also, I did a little mention too, a little bit, a um, little bit too. We also got our um, first um, transgender uh, man in Hella Boss. That was cool to see too, because this show is always about, also about um, showing how everyone has a voice in animation, um, regardless of their backgrounds, their race, or sexual orientation, whatever, whatever it is. And it's also nice, just just want to say that out there. So props to Busy Pop for continuing to um, make show animations for everyone. I do like great this shot right here. I do like this shot right here, kind of light from from the um, from the party, kind of on her face. That's a cool little bit of shot too. See, they 
every episode we get it gets a little more a little more intricate, a little more shades to just make it that more great. Like I was saying before, at least we got this little piece of shot like um, about a year ago when they first were advertising it, and we were always—I was always wondering what they what, what that what that shot was going to be, right? This shot, right? I always wonder what the next part of this is going to be. I, 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 this is what, um. I couldn't have, I, I, that's basically what I thought was going to happen right there. That's funny, though. Because, because he is a party animal blitz. I mean, but, um, but beyond that, um, just for our thoughts on this episode. I mean, it's, it, it's a good episode. It's one that definitely, um, needed to come out. And I'm glad that they eventually did, was able to make it so that it did eventually come out. Um, but. Yeah, this is just a great episode too, all all around, and um, also you get a little bit of that kind of a heartfelt scene at the end after they leave the party. We get that too. Yeah, you do. Also, I'll be getting all these little Easter eggs too. That we see some of the photographs, pictures of different episodes and adventures that the INPs have been on. So that's always nice to see, and I do enjoy that. Um, it's nice to see that his little place and the horses, of course. <laughs> There's a lot, there's a lot, of, a lot of Easter eggs that you can read into for all these pictures that people. Are, I know they're already analyzing it on, on across social media. They're already analyzing it too, because it's, 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 it'll be interesting to see where a, where a series goes from here. A little bit there from um from Lululand. <laughs> I do love how he's how she's now she's because she's very in the very part of the opening part of the series we see how she really didn't want to call him she's like you're not my dad you're not my dad and stuff like that you're not my dad now as they grow together as people in a relationship we're starting to more see how she's starting to call him dad anymore which is very heart heartwarming which i do enjoy quite a bit in this series <laughs> of course he had to throw up <laughs> Yeah, so some familiar faces. And props to all these animators on the screen. Just great job, guys. I mean, you guys are just you guys are doing some phenomenal work. And this is it, their work is, is is showing up. They're showing up, and they're producing great quality content every episode, which I do enjoy. I like the song too. Oh yeah, the monsters ball one also 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 was um um looks like I was mixing and live live it was due a lot of the production with the monsters ball the song we're hearing right now was from Sylvia Hound who also helped with Addict the movie the music video and the song Addict so that's great to see them again this one too I will hope this is on Spotify very soon these are good songs. It's a big horse. <laughs> yeah, whole season. So yeah, that was hell of a boss. 
season one, episode eight in the books. Now we have a complete season one. That was good and a nice episode to finish off. It was a great season of Hell Boss, and it's already turning to a memorable one for season two. That was great. I recommend you guys go see it. Go watch it on YouTube on Bibsy Pop's channel. I'll put a link into her channel in the description too. And also, if you want to contribute and help her out with um, buying her merch or buying, helping on her Patreon.com so she can keep making this great content that I think we all need. So, I thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. And always, remember, become Film Fanatic.